Fudge with here. It's um, first look, um, very limited first review of the Alox CSB02 spirit burner, I believe is what they call it. It's an alcohol burner. It's a Trangia knockoff. Um, instead of having all the holes the same size all the way around, it has two different sizes. I don't know whether that's any better or not, but I've boiled water with it and it works quite well. I should have dug out the pot that I used to boil water for the test, but anyway. Um, I like it so far. The only thing that I find a little annoying is this is the, one of the reasons why I bought it was to use with this cup but <laughs> it um, it doesn't the the thing I normally use is slightly bigger than this in diameter this is the GSI glacier cup I love that cup um, I guess I have to do a video on it a review um, anyway has no ring I haven't tried it with um, alcohol in it to um, see if it leaks. It shouldn't, but who knows. I like, one thing I like about this over the Trangia one is this piece. So you can do that. Whereas the Trangia, they pretty much only have that piece there. So I see you're doing this <laughs> to put it on to snuff it. And of course you have your simmer, just like the Trangia. Uh, it's light. They claim it's uh, 130 grams, or at least that's what it says on the box. So actually, now that I think about it, it could be the, everything, like the box included. I don't know. It's um, stainless steel, aluminum, and they claim copper, but I believe it's a copper alloy. Uh, there's stickers all over the box so I paid uh, where is it here the whole stove 13 14 dollars free shipping and it arrives fairly fast you find them for all kinds of prices on eBay um, it's worth it to look for a cheaper one because if it's not if it's it, if it's the same version, then why should you pay $20 for it when you can get it for 14 or less if you look even more? Um, it uh, heated up the water in the heavy stainless steel. Like this is not what I would call a heavy stainless steel. The, the stainless steel wa uh, measuring cup that I use is heavy compared to this. And it, the water, two cups of water, and it boiled quite quickly. So I was kind of impressed. Um, and one thing I noticed that didn't, I didn't have with this that I did with my um, uh, aluminum soft drink can stoves is there was a really odd, um, nasty chemical smell when I used those and there wasn't with this. So I'm wondering if it's the aluminum giving it off and not as I had thought the supposedly um, uh, uh, odorless um, alcohol. So one of the things that I have picked up actually that was given to me by my sister is that it's basically a turkey turkey baster and uh, 
<laughs> Although, <laughs> somebody sees you coming at them with this, <laughs> and they're probably going to freak out because it's got quite the <laughs> on it. Uh, one ounce and a half ounce. So, I mean, yeah, okay, you can't do, like, you know, easily do quarter ounce, you have to guess, but, um, I don't think you would want to use a quarter ounce anyway. Uh, two ounces boiled, the, or one ounce boiled the water, or almost boiled the water. Two ounces definitely boiled it, and there wasn't a lot left. So... But then with the other alcohol stoves that I had made, it required a fair amount as well, at least two ounces. Uh, well, one of them didn't. One of them was like quite quick, but <laughs> it had that nasty odor. Like, my God, it was bad. My throat started to get raw from it. Um, and something I picked up, I believe my sister got this at a dollar store. Something I picked up is these. Um, 250 milliliter bottles at a dollar store. And so far it hasn't leaked. And the nice thing about it is it has the, uh, you know, the squirt. Um, so I can take that if I have the space and not bother with the that or I can just use this and that and get you know an ounce after I get using this for a while I'll be able to gauge you know where an ounce is where two ounces is and so on um, now when I did the test I did it indoors on a about I'm sitting on a stove with the vent hood turned on which is maybe why I didn't get the vapors that I did before because um, I didn't turn the vent hood on. Um, but also, I think that's one of the reasons why they burned through the alcohol so fast was because of the draw from the vent. Um, anyway, it still still did a reasonable time. And um, I'd say, you know, if you want to buy a cheap one of these, this is good. I'll know after I use it more, um, so there'll be a one-year review, and I'll let you know more about it then. See you later.